This video explores 12 great Revit plugins for BIM managers. You can get the full list along with download links and the costs in the video description. The first plugin on the list and my personal favorite is PyRivet. PyRivet is the Swiss army knife of uh, Revit and includes by default so many helpful tools such as the pattern maker, pre-flight checks to maintain Revit model health, also tab coloring. As you can see, different projects and families will have different colors in the tabs. In addition, PyRivet can include extensions by, by users, as you can see here, when going to the extension menu. And you can even create your own set of tools and incorporate them in the Revit ribbon. We recently made a long video about PyRivet, so make sure to check that out in the video description if you want to learn more. The second plugin on the list is DRoots1, that is a fan favorite with millions of downloads. Although recently, DRoots announced they're moving to a freemium model, which means some of the tools in uh, this plugin are now paid. They require an annual subscription. The good news is that some of my favorites are still free, including the Family Revisor, which lets you change the naming convention for your content, including loadable families. For example, you could find all families which have the RP prefix and replace with something else. That has always been extremely helpful to me. The second one that I love is the para manager tool where you can quickly click here on add parameters or you could import from a list of shared parameters to add and modify multiple parameters at the same time because by default in Revit you had to add them one by one which is long and boring. Third on the list is Dynamo and this is made by Autodesk. It is free of charge if you already have access to Revit and this is a gateway to the world of automation. This is a visual programming interface where you have nodes that you connect together. It is similar to Grasshopper if you are used to using Rhino. It is a great way to get started with automation and automating tedious and boring tasks inside of Revit. Uh, we have a couple of videos about it. Make sure to check them out if you don't have any Dynamo experience. Plugin number four is EF Tools by Eric Fritz. Although technically it is not a plugin, it is a PyRevit extension. That means you must first install PyRivet, which is free, and then you go to the extension folder by clicking here. And if you scroll down on the list, you will find EF Tools. You must click on Enable. It is already enabled in my case. And then you will find EF Tools over here. It contains a lot of helpful tools. My personal favorite that I use the most is Isolate Warnings to help you maintain healthy Revit models. In here, I can click a single view for all elements afflicted by a warning. In hidden context, I can select the elements, uh, the warnings that I want to isolate. And then by clicking on this view, uh, on this tool, the view is created. I can see I have a 3D view here with all elements in this Revit model afflicted by a warning, now with red override. Next on the list is Guardian for Revit. This lets you protect and maintain your Revit template, files, workflows, and standards. For example, you can prevent certain certain commands from being used, such as uh, explode CAD. You can even send custom message, including images, or ask for a password to use uh, these tools. You can also send messages to your entire team. You can control the things. This does a lot. Next on the list is ID8 Explorer. ID8 are the creators of multiple high-quality Revit plugins. This one is probably my favorite, more specifically, the warnings menu that you can see here, which lets you see all the warnings in the project but it includes a color code to let you know what are uh, the most critical warnings that you should immediately solve. So the red ones that you can see here, you should have a look and it gives you more information and this is better user interface than the default Revit warnings menu. If you are enjoying this video, check out the BIMPure membership. It includes multiple Revit courses, downloads such as our Revit Windows Indoors collection, our Pro Template, pamphlets, PDF guides, a bunch of Dynamo scripts, and also access to our series of live master classes about advanced Revit topics with various experts. Enroll now at bimpure.com. Next on the list is ProSheets by DRoots. This lets you export multiple Revit elements and sheets into multiple formats at the same time, and that could include PDFs, DWGs, IFCs, and more. You can customize the way files are going to be named and a new feature that is premium only, which means you, you need to pay an annual fee is the scheduling assistant. For example, you can say every Friday afternoon at 5 p.m. launch the exporting of the PDF and the IFC file. Next on the list is BIMBeats. This is mostly for a larger organization. I would say 50 people or more. 
and it records every single action taken by Revit users inside of all models and gives you data in dashboard so you have more information about what's actually going on inside of your models. Next on the list is Glyph by Evolve Labs. This company is mostly known for making the great AI rendering tool called Verus. But Glyph is a tool that lets you automate documentation tasks inside of Revit, such as placing tags, uh, dimension, creating sheets and levels and views. So in this case, for example, you can see uh, some of the tasks that can be automated. In this case, we select the dimension tool. It can be uh, customized. In this case, we can select this floor plan view and the walls category. We click on a uh, run and you can see that dimensions are automatically placed, although we can customize the way uh, that they are created in the view. It also includes a Glyph Copilot chatbot where you can type in uh, what kind of task you want to run. Next on the list is Dynamo Multiplayer by Bird Tools. This lets you run one or multiple Dynamo scripts on one or multiple Revit models. Uh, in this case, we select a random Revit model. We can even add files from ACC or BIM360, and then you can add one or multiple Dynamo scripts. You can click on Proceed to run the scripts immediately on all these models, or you can select Schedule here, which is going to create a task on Windows that is going to automatically open Revit, run the scripts on all the selected files. So for example, I could do all these tasks on Friday afternoon, and this could be for Revit health checks. This could be to push data from Excel to Revit. These are a couple of examples. Of course, sky is the limit to what you can do with this tool. Next on the list is Nonica tab. This lets you put your Dynamo scripts into the Revit ribbon. The free version includes 12 Dynamo scripts that you can put in there. There's a pro version where you can put even more and unlocks a few extra features. Uh, in this case, you can see there's an empty script. We can set up the button in the script uh, first, we must select a, a Dynamo file. So I can pick a random one in this case. And then you can set up the icons. So I can select among the suggested free icons. Let's say that I pick this one. And then I can set up the details. So information for uh, my users. So this is a great way to fill up the Revit ribbons with your scripts and avoid users from having to open Dynamo directly. The final plugin on the list is BIM Tools by Sophistic. And the highlight feature that I love to use is change font we here. Since I'm often working on template to rename and change the fonts in the entire project, including all the title blocks and the families, this is extremely helpful and avoid the boring manual work. In this case, for example, I can change the text font and search for all the texts that are Swiss 721 and then I can switch the text font to something else instead. And my favorite, of course, is Comic Sense. So it means all the Swiss font in the entire project, including all the tags, the text, the dimensions, and title block. I can select this and I can even change uh, the text size. So I could make it to two millimeters. I can even set a color and I can rename it based on the specific nomenclature. And if I click on OK, this might take a while. It goes through the entire project, change all the text styles, all the title blocks, all the dimensions, everything, and saves a lot of boring manual work. As you can see here, all the fonts in my project are now Comic Sense. That's it for this video. Make sure to check out the blog post that includes all the links to these plugins along with information on the cost. Please subscribe to this channel and see you soon.